Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to another day of devotions as we are talking about Habit 7, uh, Sharpen the Saw. And we're looking at that sharpening of the saw specifically through the proverb, Iron Sharpens Iron. Just as iron sharpens iron, so does a friend sharpen another friend. We're talking about mentoring and being mente mentees of others. And uh, we're talking about those who served in that capacity. And um, so uh, today's uh, couple of people that have been there in the Bible that were really great models of being mentees to one another um, is the story of David and Jonathan. Uh, two contemporaries, it's not an older and a younger person, it is people of the same age who challenged each other, who were real soulmates um, in the best sense of the word. And so I want to read to you um, uh, from 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 1 to 5, that tells us something about this relationship these two young men have with each other. So let me just give you a little bit of background. David is, uh, you remember, David is a king, but before he becomes king, um, you might remember the story of uh, Saul, um, who is the first king, and uh, the uh, battle with the Philistines, and and uh, nobody's able to stand against Goliath, who's the great giant of the Philistines, and David, uh, this young, ruddy-looking kid, comes and they put the armor on him because he's ready to go fight the battle, and he says, nope, can't do that. So he takes all of his armor off and he has a slingshot, right? You remember the story. And um, so anyway, he defeats Goliath and King Saul is pretty impressed. And so he comes in, kind of comes into the inner circle. So this takes place after all that's happened. And it says, when David had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was bound to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that he was wearing. He gave it to David and his armor and even his sword and his bow and his belt. David went out and was successful wherever Saul sent him. As a result, Saul set him over the army, and all the people, even the servants of Saul, approved. You know, we think about how David was so successful against Goliath, but it was only the beginning of that journey toward being king himself. And um, we sometimes may discount the, the influence that Jonathan had over David. They, they had a great love for each other. And, um, and probably David learned a lot. I mean, it sounds like Jonathan was giving him not only you know, the garments that he wore and the status that he had, but also probably taught him about how to use um, you know, the, the weaponry that he was going to need to lead the army and that kind of stuff. And he wasn't, he wasn't in competition with David. That was one of the things as I read the story, and especially as David, um, you know, rises to power, his love for Jonathan never ended. In fact, after Jonathan died in battle, David was careful to treat Jonathan's family the ones that were left behind with honor and with help and with love. Wow, that's kind of an awesome thing. So in this, in this episode of thinking about mentoring and being mentored, um, we think about friends, we think about contemporaries, peers, people who are our own age. And you know, in my life, I've had many people like that, including my husband. 
um, who we started out as very dear friends before we ever had a romance. And throughout my life, someone who has challenged me, who has encouraged me, who has struggled, you know, to come together to figure out uh, solving problems. And I have been that to him as well. But I have other friends in my life that I have been blessed to have that we have been able to do things and mentor each other in wonderful ways. One of the most com uh, recent is my friend Rita Nakashima Brock, who we have worked together now for uh, several years on finding ways to help those who have suffered from moral injury find a pathway uh, to recovery. And um, I learn from her and she learns from me and it is a wonderful synergistic relationship. And I, I have to say, I know that just like Tony Craven and other people who have become dear friends of mine as well as mentors, we will be in, the, in relationship with one another, most likely for the rest of our lives. How about you? Who is a friend, a contemporary in your life that you need to tell today how much you appreciate them and all they've done for you and encourage them if they need encouragement as one who is a mentor to them as well. We have these contemporary friends. You know, there's a, there's a saying, that person's got my back. Who's got yours? And whose back do you have? Be in touch with them today. This week is all about engagement. This week is all about reaching out and saying thank you and encouraging and giving God thanks. I hope you'll do that today. Think about a contemporary who you need to let know you've got their back and thank them for having yours. Maybe so. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm.